the foldable iPhone finally it's coming it's been a while since foldable iPhones have hit the market and Apple seems like it hasn't been doing anything but that's not true Apple has made considerable progress and I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the foldable iPhone and if you should wait spoiler alert it's going to launch in 2026 along with the 18 Pro in the foldable phone market, the main problems that companies have faced is durability and design. Now, these are two aspects that uh, Apple has perfected over the years, and it seems to have been perfecting this over the years as well. And uh, I'm going to deep dive into how it's doing it, who the suppliers are, how it's going to make a difference and uh, whether you should be looking forward to this or not. So let's talk about one of the innovations that uh, Apple has been trying to perfect with the foldable iPhone and that's liquid metal for its hinges. Now liquid metal has been used in a few applications like the SIM ejector tool but this widespread application is for the first time and for the hinges of the foldable iPhone liquid metal has been used so yeah this tech definitely exists and it's coming to the foldable iPhone. Now why does Apple need to use liquid metal? The reason that Apple is using liquid metal for its hinges so that it's completely flat. Now, if you've used foldable phones, you'll see that there's always a bump around the hinges. Now, if you want a perfectly flat surface, you need to use liquid metal. So in order to eliminate that and to make the design as perfect and the experience as seamless as possible, liquid metal has to be used on the hinges. But the durability isn't just limited to the hinges. Now, the hinge covers as well as the middle frame will be made of titanium alloy. Now, why? Because titanium has an incredible strength to weight ratio and that part needs to be as light as possible. It's not just for vanity sake, but it's to reduce the weight that is being placed at the hinges. And of course, to make the hinges as strong as possible. Now, while these designs are happening for the first time, the first iteration, you can expect some or the other kind of flaw in it. But having said that, these parts are being 3D printed. So the precision that is required to print these parts in itself, that is of very high quality. So you can expect minimal problems from the hinges. And as you can see, they are doing considerable R&D just on the hinge itself. Now the supplier over here, which is responsible for these hinge designs is Bright Laser Technologies. And they are doing all of the work to make that hinge design possible for Apple. Now BLT cost per hinge is somewhere around eight to 900 RMB, whereas at scale, it'll be somewhere around four to 600 RMB. And just with this single order from Apple, they'll have a revenue of nearly 8 billion RMB. Anyway, all of this tech, but what does it mean for the end user? Now for the end user, it means that you'll have a book style iPhone the inner display will be of 7.8 inches and the outer display will be of 5.5 inches. Now, what does this mean for the user? This means that the user will have a quick look functionality when it's looking at the iPhone folded. And whereas when you open the phone, you will have full functionality with the 7.8 inch screen. Now the iPhone when folded will measure just under one centimeter. That will be somewhere around nine to 9.5 mm. Whereas when the device is unfolded, or opened, then it'll measure somewhere around 4.5 to 5 mm. And this thickness, which is there of the phone, this is considerably less than the other players in the market. So this is actually quite thin, in my opinion, at least. And for the first iteration of this phone, this is actually quite good. We can obviously expect thinner models as uh, the generations go forward. But uh, for the first iPhone, the first foldable iPhone, which is coming up, just under one centimeter, that's pretty decent, I'll say. Now let's talk about the camera. Inside the foldable iPhone, it'll feature a dual lens rear camera, which will be borrowed from the 18 Pro model. This most probably will be manufactured by Samsung and the specs will be the same as the main camera lens or the main camera system of the 18 Pro. The front facing camera will again be the same as the 18 Pro. That will be available in both unfolded as well as folded states of the iPhone. So this will give you flexibility for video calls as well as selfies. One major thing that will be missing from the foldable iPhone will be Face ID. Now, I personally have never liked Face ID and uh, I despise that tech. I prefer Touch ID to Face ID any day. And I'm honestly glad Touch ID is coming back to the iPhone. So it'll feature a Touch ID on the side 
and in order to authenticate your iPhone, you'll have Touch ID, not Face ID. The reason that Face ID isn't being employed is because of space constraints. There's just not enough space to have the Face ID system on the foldable iPhone, at least not the first generation. It might happen in future, but definitely not the first. The foldable iPhone will also feature high density batteries. Now these high density batteries are coming to the iPhone 17 slim and you can expect that same tech to be in the foldable iPhone as well. Now the reason that it'll be in the foldable iPhone is because again of space constraints. Now finally the big question pricing what can you expect the price of this iPhone to be now while the exact price of the iPhone is not known the price band is known. So the price band for this iPhone will be between $2,000 to $2,500. My best guess is they would price it somewhere around $2,200 or $2,100. So something like $2,099 maybe. Or $1,999 just to make it seem like it's cheaper. But definitely this will be the most expensive iPhone till date. And as far as India goes, you can expect uh, this iPhone to cost you upwards of 3 lakhs. So, yeah, this will definitely cost you a bomb or maybe a kidney. When will this launch? This will launch uh, alongside the 18 Pro. The other models of 18, uh, the cheaper models, so-called, will launch in uh, spring 27. The Pro models and the foldable iPhone will launch in fall. That's September 2026.